Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Moto G Stylus 2022. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 300 bucks. I repeat, 300 bucks. So we got a budget phone alert. Now on a side note, even though this is a budget phone, this is what I consider a high tier budget phone because you do have the stylus support. So it's kind of like a watered down version of a Galaxy Note. All right, so let's go through some of the specs. Now this phone is fully unlocked. That's one of the main reasons why you might want to check this out. This is going to work on any carrier. So if you got AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, Boost, Mint Mobile, Metro PCS, Bob Fish and Chips and Wireless, Obama Wireless, whatever you got, this phone is going to work. Now it comes in two different colors. You got Twilight Blue and Metallic Rose. For the display, you got a 6.8 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2460. That is 396 for the PPI Patrol. You got glass on the front, plastic back. It does have a splash proof coating and a 90 Hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the MediaTek Helio G88 with the Mali G52 MC2. Now, what does that mean in English? Budget specs, bro, budget specs. Now you got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 11 with the Moto skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery, which Motorola claims is gonna last you for two days. And on a side note, I've been using this phone for a couple of days. The battery will last two days. It is a beast. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel depth sensor. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you got a single firing speaker, you got a fingerprint sensor, face unlock, a headphone jack, and the stylus. That's one of the most important features of this phone, the stylus. Now, this is a budget phone, what's missing? There's no quad HD display, no IP rating, so the phone is not water resistant, no wireless charge, no dual speakers, and no NFC. But for 300 bucks, it is what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White Shoes, I love my calm down. <laughs> now, on a side note, another side note, today is actually White Shoes' birthdays. Uh, so, uh, White Shoes' birthday. <laughs> All right, so Shoes, happy birthday. We're going to get into your birthday video later on uh, this month. All right, here we go. Moto G Stylus 2022. Now, y'all seen me review this phone before. It's basically the same thing with a little bit of updated specs. So you got your classic blue Motorola box. Okay, nothing fancy. Inside, this is going to be your device. Now, I went with the blue. Okay, let's see. This is going to be your usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. You got a SIM ejection tool. And this is going to be a 10-watt fast charging brick. <laughs> fast charging. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. I had a 10 watt charging brick. I had not fast charge, but look, I'd rather have the charging brick in the box than not. Okay, so you get your 10 watt charging brick, and this is gonna be USB A to USB Type C charging cable. Now I'm gonna leave everything like this all nice because anybody uh, wants to buy this phone from me, I give it to you for a good deal. So I'll leave everything packaged up nice and uh, clean for you. Okay, now let me get a little wipe down for the dramatic effect. And here it is. Bang. Moto G Stylus 2022. Now this is a big phone. One of the things that I like about this phone though, and all of the new Motorola phones, check out one of the flagships from Motorola. All right, this is the X30. Look at the back panel. They make it all of the phones look identical. So if you buy this phone, it's not gonna be like you're walking around, it's not gonna look like you're walking around with a peasant phone because this is the flagship. So all of their phones basically look the same. The only person that's gonna know the difference is you and me. <laughs> and that's the two people that nobody cares about you or me. <laughs> all right, here we go. On the back of the phone, there's your triple camera setup, LED flash, power button incorporated with the fingerprint sensor. Let's go ahead and power this up. Okay, we got a little juice. There's your volume up and down. On the top, got a little mic. On this side, this is your SIM tray, okay? And your micro SD card slot. Okay, now, for everybody that's always complaining about phones with no expandable memory, this phone has expandable memory. And check this out. 
headphone jack. Okay, so you got a headphone jack and expandable memory for 300 bucks. Now we're going to play the drinking game. Every time you hear me say 300 bucks, have a shot. And if you don't drink, do about 20 push-ups. So either you're going to get drunk or you're going get, to uh, get a good workout. There's your single bottom firing speaker, USB Type-C charging slot. And check this out. Bang. There's your stylus. Now we're not going to call this an S Pen, but if I do say that by accident, this is what I'm talking about, the stylus. Okay, so let me pause the video, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I've been using this phone for a couple of days, and honestly, this is a great budget phone. Now even though I'm calling it a budget phone, this is a high tier budget phone because of the stylus. Most phones that cost 300 bucks and have budget specs are not gonna give you a built-in stylus. So this will be perfect for the little kids, perfect for your parents, Perfect for you if you already got a flagship phone and you're looking for a scumbag phone, a throwaway phone, a trap phone, a work phone, or if you just want to save some money and you want to get a good quality budget phone that's going to work on all your carriers, this is it. First, let's talk about the build quality. Feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Now, no official IP rating, but it does have a splash proof coating. So if you're outside in the rain and it gets a little bit wet, you're good to go. As far as the look, I literally love it, and also because of the fact that it looks just like the flagship version. All right, so if you get this one, you're not gonna look like a peasant when somebody pulls out the X30. They look exactly the same. On the front, got a little punch hole camera. That's gonna be for your face unlock and your front facing camera, videos and uh, photos. Now, the phone does have a plastic back which is a good thing and a bad thing, because if you're looking for that heavy duty premium feel, this phone kind of has that plasticky feel to it. But if you're buying a budget phone, especially for little kids or your parents, you want to go with the plastic back because it's way more durable. Okay. Now I like the little Moto logo on the back, has a little shimmery effect to it. Beautiful looking phone. Now a couple of different ways you can open up your device. First, you got your on screen, uh, on screen, your fingerprint sensor on the side, which works flawlessly. Bond, there it is, let's do one more. All day. Now, not the fastest and responsive in the world, but it does work, okay? It does work, like I said, 100% of the time. It just has a little slow animation. Now, you could go to uh, Android settings and turn off the animations if you want, and that will speed it up a little bit, but right out of the box, this is how it's gonna look. Next, you can swipe up, put in your pattern and your pin, just like that. And lastly, you do have face unlock. Bong, just like that. Face unlock on a $300 phone. Google, I, 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 I'm i going to keep calling y'all out. Google for your next Pixel, and it needs face unlock, okay? No touching the phone, just pick it up and look at it. Bong, let's do three in a row just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. There it is, works all day. Now, if you notice also, you do have, now this is not an always on display. This is called peak display. All right, so... I'm gonna give, wait till I get a little uh, notification. Let me see if I could, okay? You see how I got the little clock? Now you see I got my notifications? If I tap and hold on it, you can see the notification. So that's a YouTube, another YouTube. We got Instagram, we got Nest. Okay, so when your phone is on the table, this is called peak display. You can peek at your notifications without unlocking the phone. That's a dope feature on pretty much all of the Moto phones. Okay, so let's go through some of the basic settings real quick. You got all your quick toggles, okay? So you got screencast. Now, like I said earlier, there is no NFC, okay? Let's go to settings real quick. Now, I'm gonna run through this part real quick. <laughs> let's see, I know. <laughs> okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see, uh, da, 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 connection preferences. You do have screencast, printing, nearby share, Android Audio, uh, Android Auto, but no NFC. Okay, now I don't know how much of a big deal is that for people that don't use uh, payments and all of that, but if you're looking for your know, Google Pay and all that, you're gonna need NFC, this phone does not have it. Okay, but there's other payment forms that use our uh, different uh, Bluetooth capabilities. Okay, let's go to, I, I just made that part up. <laughs> let's see what else we got. We got, uh, let's see, battery. Okay, now, 5,000 milliamp battery with 10 watt charging. Don't worry about the fast charging on this. This one, since it doesn't have Quad HD display, doesn't have 120 hertz refresh rate, the battery is gonna seem like 
is bigger than what it really is. Now, if you put a 5,000 milliamp battery on a Galaxy S22 Plus or S22 Ultra with a quad HD display and 120 hertz, that 5,000 milliamp battery is going to seem smaller because the phone is using a lot more power. With a budget phone and a 5,000 milliamp battery, that's a perfect combination for two-day battery life, and they delivered on this one. Okay? Let's see anything we need to see. Let's go to display, advanced, okay. Um, again, 90 hertz refresh rate. You got your three-finger screenshots. But um, do I need to even go through all of this stuff? Let's just see the basic stuff. Uh, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, smart lock. Let's see. Uh, all right, now I don't want to go too fast just in case y'all miss anything. Let's see. You got your peak display, okay, for refresh rate, 90 hertz. Now, if you want to, if you want to save battery, leave it on auto, but I'm going to leave mine on 90 hertz. Why not? Okay, that's your attentive display. So as long as you're using the phone, the display will stay on. Okay, we'll leave that on. Three-finger screenshot. Y'all seen this one before. Bond, take the screenshots. No need to get into that too much. You got screen record, split-screen multitasking. Okay, everything on deck. Let's see, sound and vibration. Now, while I do a little sound test, but one bottom firing speaker. Okay, it's pretty high. Pretty high. <laughs> Let's see, uh, accessibility. Okay, so if you're hearing or visually impaired, let's see, make sure everything is on deck. All right, so there's all of your accessibility options. Okay, you can change everything. Let's see, anything else we need to see? And that's pretty much it. Now, the rest we can go through from the Moto account. Okay, so now if you hit Moto, you got personalized, okay? So you can change all of the different styles of your icons, the shapes, the fonts, and the colors, okay? You can change all your different wallpapers. You got a bunch of interactive ones. Now, I only downloaded one. That's the one I'm using right now. But you can then change them up at your leisure, okay? You can add your own customized ones, too. Let's go to gestures. Okay, so you got quick capture, twist the phone. Bang, that'll take you to your camera. Okay, let me turn this on real quick. Let's do that one more time. Okay, shoes over here, breathing extra hard. Okay, let's do the quick cap, the twist of the wrist, and bong, there's your camera. Okay, let me put, <laughs> do that one more time. All right, we gotta, oh, we gotta set a camera, okay. Let's do that one more time. Okay, so say you're holding the phone like this, you're outside, twist it, Okay, let's, we got to put always on this because we don't need to keep selection. That's going to uh, kill the mood. All right, when you're outside, you want to do it fast. So we're going to hit the twist and go right to your camera. Okay, so that works. Let's see what else. You got your double tap the power key for shortcuts. Now, I actually leave that off because if you use that, this fingerprint sensor is so sensitive, um, it's going to keep ac accidentally bringing up that menu. All right, so we'll leave that off. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's see. The chop in motion. The chop for the flashlight, leave that one on. So that'll be this. <laughs> A little drop test. Two karate chops to turn it on. Two karate chops to turn it back off. Okay, three finger screenshots. Y'all already seen that. Flip for do not disturb. You get a phone call, just flip it. Pick up your phone to silence. So if your phone is ringing obnoxiously, pick it up. It'll automatically silent. And swipe to split. All right, if you want to split screen. That's pretty much it for the gestures. Uh, let's see. Okay, we already went through the peak display, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is a basic budget phone, but it does have some dope functionality, which I'm going to show you one of them right now. One of the key reasons why you're buying this phone is the stylus. So when you take out the stylus, if you notice, the stylus is very thin. There's no button on it like the Galaxy. But you see, when I took it out, call Dave, 34721. Two, nine. Let's hit save. Bong, just like that. Now, this is with the display off. So Samsung calls that screen right. Same thing. So you got your phone on the table. Okay, you see I just got a message. I can check it just like that. But say I want to take a quick note. Oh, let me remind myself that today is Shoes' birthday. Okay. Play with shoes <laughs> for an extra hour. Okay, that's my handwriting. Hit save, bong, just like that. Put the pen back in. That's pretty dope. Now you do have a lot of stylus functionality. Let's go ahead and open this up. Once you pull out your stylus, you're gonna get this little action memo uh, menu right here. 
let's go through this real quick. Now, if you want to add a note, okay? Say you want to add text to that note. Okay, we hit test. Okay, just like that. Now, if we want to write, call Bob. If you want to, you can change the color. We'll put it in red. You can change the thickness. Let's make it extra thick. Giggity. Let's do a little bit of green or blue. Let's do a little, just like that. Okay, now you do have your eraser. Okay, now if you want to, get the big eraser. Just like that. You got a ruler. And if you want to, you can change the pages. Change the background if you like to have actual notes. Set it something like that. You can add audio and you can add an image. Okay, so now let's save that. Bong. Hit the menu again. Now you can take a screenshot and you can edit that screenshot right from the um right from the uh, screenshot. If you want, you got your coloring book. Now this is kind of cute. You open this up. Let's do some red. Okay. Now this is when you're sitting in the DMV waiting to get cold. Wanna we'll make a little red dinosaur. Now my coloring skills is trash. Let's change it a little bit of green. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got green eyes. I will give the dinosaurs green eyes. <laughs> you know, and um, you just go. I don't know why this is so funny to me. This this seems like it would be a lot of fun for a little kid, or for yourself when you you know you you sitting on that long flight, you sitting in the one seat that the TV don't work. <laughs> you know, this will give you something to do. Okay, that's your coloring book. Okay, you got a bunch of different. Uh, this is what I did earlier. You got a bunch of different um. Uh, templates to choose from. Next, you can make your animated GIFs and your videos. Okay, so that's GIFs and videos. And you got your notes. Okay? No reason to go through all of my old school notes. So that's pretty much it. And if you go to settings, say you don't like those four, say I don't use animated GIFs at all. We'll exit that one out. And I don't use Google Notes. I don't use Cinemagraph. Let's add um, the stuff that I actually do use. Let's add Chrome. Let's add Instagram, and let's add one more. We'll do something that I use a lot, shop. Manage all my uh, impulse buys. Now when you click on that, now I can go straight to Instagram, straight to Chrome, and go crazy. Okay, now say I wanna take a quick screenshot while I'm here. Bomb screenshot that, and you can edit it and go crazy. Full style of support. Again, this is not a Galaxy Note. Okay, you don't got no Bluetooth functionality and all that. But this is perfect for because it is a big phone. Okay, so ladies, if you're buying this and you got small hands, just use the stylus to navigate your phone. Okay. 90 hertz refresh rate. Pretty smooth. Now, Google, the Google feed is not the best way to check the refresh rate because it's always updated. But you see how it looks. Okay. Okay, so uh, new Street Fighter announcement for next week. Let's go ahead and like that. I'll have to read that later. And that's pretty much it. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay. Now look at these processors. I know some of y'all here, MediaTek, Helio, G, Molly, M, what does all of that stuff mean? Who cares? I, you see it for yourself. Who cares with all this media tech, Snapdragon? Nobody cares. The point is, if you spend 300 bucks on a phone, does it work? And this one works. You've seen it for yourself. You can do all your shopping. If I want to, I could do a little split screen multitasking. We'll open up that. We'll open up, uh, let's see, look at all these apps I got in the background. We'll do TikTok on the bottom. Oh, TikTok doesn't work in split screen. All right, so let's try that again. Let's do, um, Let's go back to this. Okay, we'll do a split screen multitasking. Let's see what we got. Let's do some, let's go back to Google. Let's go to, go to samsung.com. Okay, so we got Apple on the top. So while we waiting for that website? Okay, now it just switched up. It put Samsung, <laughs> let's put Samsung on the top. All right, no browser installed. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. Let's, let's try it one more time. I know. I know. I, I just hate leaving stone done turn. Go to apple.com. Okay, watch this. All right, this time we're going to do something that is guaranteed to work. Okay, we'll let Apple load up. 
This time we'll do split screen multitasking. Okay. Let's clear all of this stuff on the bottom. Okay. And we'll do YouTube. Okay. That's the best way to do it. Okay. So we got YouTube on the bottom. Okay. We got the Predator verse and we got Apple on the top and notifications popping up. Okay, there it is. So that's your split screen multitasking on your $300 phone. Clear all, exit out of Apple, bam, just like that. Now, let's throw the stylus back in, okay? Let's take a look at the uh, speakers. So let's take it over to YouTube. Let me pull up, I'm not gonna do no editing, we're just gonna roll, roll through this real quick. Let's go to, um, why not? We'll just do the regular speaker test. Y'all haven't seen it in a while. Yo, Official Flossy Carter sound test. Time sound test. Everybody shut your mouth. Time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? One bottom firing speaker. Loud. How's the bass baby? How's the travel on? How's it sound now? Now for 300 bucks, you're probably not going to get dual speakers on too many phones, but I wish it would have had dual speakers. Because look, it's a little bit low when you cover it. How's the sound, white shoes? How's the sound on it? But it's going to get the job done when you're holding the phone like this. All right. So that's the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Now, let's check this uh, IPS display. Let me pull up one of my test videos. Okay. Let's go to quality. We'll do higher picture quality. Let's do a full screen on this. And here it is. Okay, viewing angles, not bad. Not great, but not bad. <laughs> 300 bucks, it is what it is. Okay, that's how the display looks. Now, if you want to exit out of this, you do got picture in picture. Take it over to Facebook. And you got YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Okay, exit out of that. Bam, there it is. This phone works, okay? Like I said, you're gonna spend 300 bucks. Don't expect to have flagship level performance in every department, especially with the camera. Which brings me to my next thing that I wanna talk about, the camera. Matter of fact, before we do the camera, let's do a little bit of gaming. Okay, we got a little Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Now, she was having a good time for her birthday. She ready for the birthday treats. So, I gotta hurry up and wrap this video up. All right, here we go. 300 bucks. Let's see how the performance is. Okay, straight out the gate. Okay, let me get my drift on. Oh, okay, a little crash, a little crash. I just scared you the way. <laughs> I scared you with the crash. Okay, this time I gotta take the high. Here we go. Woo! Now look, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a lot of action on the screen, so we see if we get it to lag. Not lagging at all. All my 360s look nice and clean. Bang! There it is. Okay, let me turn this down for a minute. <laughs> okay. So you can run Asphalt 9 on this phone, which means you could basically run any Android game from the market. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now remember, you do have the twist gesture for those world star hip hop moments. Twist the phone, now to bring up your camera, start taking your pictures and videos. Okay, so let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got video, which you can do macro. You can do wide angle or regular. You got photos, macro, wide angle, 
or regular. And you got portrait mode, cutout, spot color, night vision, cinemagraph, panorama, group selfie, ultra resolution, live filter, pro mode, and dual capture. Now from video, you also have slow motion, time lapse, and spot color. Now this is the budget phone, so don't expect to be blown away by the pictures, but take a look at these uh, test pictures and videos for yourself. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you spent 300 bucks on the phone, let's see how it works in the real world. All right, so you wake up in the morning, you move your phone, you wanna check your notifications without turning it on, use the peak display, okay? So I can see the time, the date, I'm going through all my notifications without unlocking it, okay? I got SoundCloud, I got YouTube, Nest, Instagram, everything on deck. Now, when you're ready to open up the phone, you don't have to press any buttons. Just pick it up, look at it. Bond, there it is. But if you wanted to, you can use that fingerprint sensor on the side. And like I said, it works fast and smooth. All right, so let's check the weather. Okay, 19 degrees, sunny day. Typical February day in New York City. Now, let's pull out the stylus. Okay, let's take a quick note. Okay, what we gotta do for today Get groceries. Okay, now that's a little bit too thick for me. So I like to change it to red, which is a little bit thinner. Uh, pay bills. Uh, get buns. <laughs> <laughs> for dinner. I, hot dog buns. You know, I don't like eating my hot dogs uh, without any bread. And that's pretty much it. That's all my notes. Keep it pushing. Put the phone, stylus back in the phone, turn it back off. Now, Say you go take a shower and you come back and you forgot while you're in the shower, oh, I got one more thing I gotta do. I gotta call my man Terry. You don't have to turn the phone on. Pull it right out. Call Terry. Just like that. Tight shirt Terry. Let me call my man Tight Shirt Terry. Put the phone back down, keep it pushing. Okay, now we come back. Let's look at the phone. 
opens right up. Let's do a little bit of work. So now, you see I got one of my work widgets. Let's go over to, uh, okay. Now this will be a simulation of me doing work. Okay, reading my emails. Okay, go to the next one. Now, if I wanna to reply to this email, let's hit reply. There's my keyboard. No thanks. Okay, hit send. Okay, I don't even know what that was. <laughs> That's Amazon, so whatever it is, no thanks. Okay, and go through all of my emails just like that. Now, this is the stylus, so you might as well take advantage of the stylus. Use the stylus to uh, use your emails. Okay, and we'll exit out of that. That's the end of the day for work. Now, let's do a little bit of play stuff. Okay, first, if you want to, you can check your calendar. I have a big calendar widget. All your widgets, everything works the same. Now we can fool around on social media. So first, let's go to Facebook. Okay, let's see what's going on on Facebook. Next year, I want Jay-Z, Wu-Tang, Nas, J. Cole, and Foxy Brown at the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. What's this? Um. Okay. Pimparelli? <laughs> hey, this is a, the company's called Pimparelli? Okay. Hey, I don't judge nobody. All right, my uncle's birthday today. Happy birthday to my uncle. All right. Yeah, he having those old school photo shoots, remember? <laughs> Yo, bro, nobody gonna do this no more. All right, shout out to my uncle, man. He old school, so he can get away with that. All right, let's see. Um, one gotta go. 50, DMX, Cameron, or Ja Rule. Me, I'm gonna, if one gotta go, it's gonna be Ja Rule. All right, because I rock with everybody else here. I like Ja Rule too, but not in this uh, scenario right here. Okay, shout out to Avrex. All right, y'all know, um, they call me Don Avrex. I got so many Avrexes. This is the only jackets that I really wear in the winter in the leather jacket variety, that is. So it's kind of like AV. All right, we call them AV back in the days. Anyway, so this is how your Facebook is gonna look. Okay, now let's exit out of that. Now say I was on Facebook and I wanted to do a little split screen multitasking. This one does work in the multitask view. And um, I can do my emails at the same time while I'm on um, Facebook. So while I'm browsing Facebook, I could theoretically be working and being a, <laughs> being a scumbag at the same time. Okay, so we'll exit out of both of these. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Okay. Now, let's see if anybody's talking about me. Now, check this out. While I'm on Twitter, say I want to take a little... Okay, Ed Boone talking about Mortal Kombat. Okay. Take a little screenshot of that. Say that for later. Okay. Let's go to my notifications. Let's go to my mentions. See if anybody's talking about me. Okay. Of course, we got Galactus in the building. Okay. I'll read all this stuff later, but let's just see um, if these were Tim's. <laughs> Floss with Rockies on a regular. Let's see what. <laughs> oh, the, the, the Star Trek boots. I right, he's right. If they was Tim's, I, I'd probably rock these anyway. Though I'm a Star Trek fan, I rock all this kind of dumb shit. Let's see. Okay, all of the colors for Galactus. Okay, there's a lot of Samsung Galaxy activity going on. Okay, somebody got the speaking cases. I'm waiting on mine right now. White Stone. All right, White White Stone, man. <laughs> the White Stone getting a lot of mileage. Anyway, let's let's, let's I'll talk about that later. All right, so that's Twitter. Let's see what else we got. Let's go. Let's take it over to TikTok. Let's see what's going down in the world of TikTok. Now, for TikTok, I got to turn the volume down because, you know, they be talking crazy. Okay, so we got Mike Tyson. Okay. You look like a, let's see. I say, I was going to say scorpion. Okay, well, Pisces. Okay, well, she hella pretty and older. Okay, you know, there's a lot of skits. You know, if I, you know, if I was still working in an office right now, I would be on TikTok doing skits too. Who can I can't I can't hate. Now this this, this little baby started at an early age. He tatted up early. Uh, he started at an early age. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> this is this is this child abuse or not? Let me know. I'm just kidding, man. It's, you know, it's probably Marco or something, but it's just cute. It's cute. Baby look like he's uh, having a good time with it too. Let's see. Um, can't be so sensitive of it. Okay, now look. This is a family show. We don't need to see this guy. Bro. Nah, did y'all see it? <laughs> Why, man? Why did they do this? Shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. All right. I'm, a, I'm an official Giants fan. If you don't believe me, look what I'm wearing right now. All right. This is a, I'm an official Giants fan, so this came in right on top. Shout out to OBJ. All right. OBJ. Got that ring finally. Okay, anyway. So that's how your TikTok is going to look. Now let's do one more. We'll take it over to Instagram. Okay, here we go. Now this is a family show, so I gotta be, I gotta be careful with Instagram, yo. Yeah? All right, baby, baby got some new work coming out. 
That little skull, that look like a skull ring. That look kind of sick. I don't know if that's a ring or not, but whatever, it just looks sick. Shout out to Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. All right, that was one of the best halftime shows that I've seen on any Super Bowl. And the 50 Cent performance was the icing on the cake because I'm from Queens. All right, so you know I got to rock with fifths. All right, let's see. Did we miss anything? All right, now look. Now, these, these are the kind of skits right here that be kind of like getting on my nerves. You're like, stop playing with people. You're like, you know, like you can do this stuff to some people, you know, get away with it. But everybody ain't playing around, man. Like, some people walking around out here in misery, man. You doing flips and all that. Like, stop playing with people, man. I'm telling you. you then, when, then when something happened, people were crying like, oh, he was just making a, 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 a TikTok. Bro, stop playing with people, man. All right, let me give y'all young cats advice. Stop playing with people. All right, let's see. We got <laughs> people that don't want to play. Now, everybody, some people want to play, but everybody ain't, ain't, ain't ready to play. Okay. Okay, this is a family show, so we're going to keep it skimming through. All right, shout out to Cuban Nose Jewelry. Okay, they got the red face Patek. The Patek. <laughs> protect your Patek. All right, if you come to Queens, you better protect your Patek. All right, let's see. Um, Super Bowl activities. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. Here's how your Instagram is going to look. Okay. I'll go to my Instagram real quick. This is me from the other night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, we got the videos. All right, my Instagram is, is family friendly, so I can, I can scroll through it. If you want to, you can zoom in. If you want to see Galactus up close, zoom in. And there it is. Okay. 90 hertz refresh rate. Scrolling speeds. Pretty dope. When you're done, put your stylus back in, exit out, and you're good to go. So this phone survives my RDA test, regular daily activities, passes it like a boss. Now keep this in mind. You only spent 300 bucks on this. The biggest downside to this is the video camera quality. Other than that, all right, you buying this phone for a little kid or your parents or your work phone because you got the stylus and it's big and a big battery, your trap phone, again, with a 5,000 milliamp battery. If this is going to be your scumbag phone or your trap phone, you can leave this in the car for a couple of days at a time. All right, fellas, y'all know what I'm talking about. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this phone a major go, but for 300 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Okay, works on all your carriers, simple, clean, basic. And the most fun part, one of the most fun features of it is having an actual stylus that works and is able to be stored inside of the phone. That's why I say this is a high tier budget phone. Anyway, let's get a little wipe down. This is the Moto G Stylus 2022. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And let me know, do y'all want to see a full review on the Moto X30? I actually love this phone. This is my first flagship Moto phone in a long time. This has the glass back, dual speakers, premium camera setup. This is a real beast right here. But um, it doesn't seem like a lot of people are interested in this one. But let me know if y'all want to see a full review on it. I was going to just, you know, just rock it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let me know if y'all want to see that. Anyway, Moto G Stylus 2022. I'm out. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys left. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I'll see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and go. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? 
I'm flashy. Money made all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.